So you make sure that you have, you have, you have enough ins life insurance to cover that. Yes. And then you look at the next thing, the I. That's your income. Yes. This is what you bring home every month to feed your family. Mushahara. Mushahara. Yes. You want to make sure that you can replace that. Yes. Right? And the industry standard says replace that for at least 10 years. Okay. Because you're gone, right? And hopefully, you know, your wife loved you and she'll be grieving a lot. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Or your husband loved you and he'll be grieving a lot when you're gone. Why are you laughing oh. about the wife grieving and laughing? This monster called life insurance, mm -hmm. you know, like it's a buzzword, it's talked about a lot. A lot of people have heard that it's important, you need to have life insurance. Uh, so what exactly is life insurance? Because I feel that um, a lot of people talk about it, but a lot of people don't understand it. And I think a lot of people also don't have it, partly because they don't understand what it is. We understand what car insurance is. Absolutely. You know, like there's a certain minimum that you're required if you own a car. Right. Uh, there's no requirement for life insurance. Absolutely. So just tell us what exactly is life insurance if you're explaining this to a fifth grader or someone who just doesn't know about life insurance. Cliff. Thank you so much, Ali. Well, life insurance is, is an, in a nutshell is where one company accepts a little bit of money from you, right, and guarantees a lot of money to you and your family should you lose your life. Okay. That's ba basically it. If I can do it the way um, uh, one, one, one of my mentors um, uh, shared with us, they said, think about it. You like shoes, Ali. Mm -hmm. You go to Aldo, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And you, you see a nice pair of shoes and they say, this, shoe, this pair of shoes is $500, mm -hmm. right? And you look at your pocket and you, all you have is 100 bucks. Are you going to get those shoes? Uh, no. Right? Yeah. The, and, and the last time I checked, Aldo doesn't have a layaway, layaway plan. Yes. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So you walk away without shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Life insurance is exactly the opposite of that. Yeah. Right? You go to an insurance company, mm -hmm. whichever name it is, Nationwide, Transamerica, Pacific, you name them. There's hundreds of them in the U.S. Yeah. And, and all over the world, right? And you go and tell them that I have $100 a month on the off chance that my I, that I don't make it to to, uh, to tomorrow or next year, I would like my family to receive a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, a million dollars. Okay, right? And the life insurance company says, okay, for as long as you pay this one hundred dollars to us every month, we will make sure that should you no longer be able to pay this one hundred dollars because you have died, yeah, that we will provide your family the contracted amount, okay. which is a hundred thousand, two hundred, whatever the the number is. So we give you, you give us a little bit of money mm -hmm. on the guarantee that when you're no longer able to, <clears throat> because you're no longer on this earth, yeah, we will make sure that we provide your family that lump sum to help them continue to do the things you're able to do for them yes. when you're alive. Okay. Now, how do I determine, you know, like if I have a family, you know, like maybe a wife, two kids, mm -hmm. uh, how do I determine how much they'll need? You know, like in case Great something question. happens to me, if I am, you know, like uh, the primary provider. Absolutely. How do I make that determination? Great question, Ali. Um, it's very, very simple. I meet you today, Ali. I meet uh, one Mike. I meet Omosh. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what, <clears throat> what your situation is. I cannot prescribe to you um, a life insurance amount that you need. Mm -hmm. But we have in the industry a very, very simple method of determining what you need in terms of life insurance. Mm -hmm. We call it the DIME method. Dime is an acronym, D I M E. Yeah. Right? right. 10 cents. 10 cents. Yeah. Right? It's a dime method. Penny moja. Penny moja. Yeah. Well, it's penny kumi. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> is it penny moja? No, it's penny moja. It's penny moja, by the way. You're right. You're right. Cent Centi kumi. Centi kumi. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Again, yeah. ilikuja na meli. Ah, so, so. Uh, anyway, what so what, a, yeah. <laughs> what does a dime method, um, mm. what does a dime method um, entail? It simply looks at the four key things that you as an individual may be interested in covering should you no longer be able to do it because you are no longer alive. Yes. D stands for your debt. Mm -hmm. We, especially in the U.S., will live a life of debt. Yeah. Madeni. Right? Madeni. Kama uhuru. Uh -huh. anyway, that's a story for <laughs> that's another day. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you're, you're, you've got your car note, your credit cards, your, your, your student loans, um, all those consumer loans that you have. Mm -hmm. Right? You want to make sure that you have enough life insurance to cover that. Yes. 
Okay, so let's put these numbers down. Let's say you have fifty thousand dollars in debt. Okay. Car note, credit card, student loan, you name it. Yes. Fifty grand. Yeah. All right. So you make sure that you 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 have enough ins life insurance to cover that. Yes. And then you look at the next thing, the I. That's your income. Yes. This is what you bring home every month to feed your family. Mushahara. Mushahara. Yes. You want to make sure that you can replace that. Yes. Right. And the industry standard says replace that for at least ten years. Okay. Because you're gone. Right. And hopefully, you know, your wife loved you and she'll be grieving a lot. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Or your husband loved you and he'll be grieving a lot when you're gone. Why are you laughing oh. about the wife grieving and laughing? I mean, or, or, or even if or, they or don't. Or even if they don't. Even if they right? don't, right? at least yeah, they'll right? be celebrating with someone. There'll be something, right? Yeah. But, or, and you have children, yes. right? And your income squarely impacted their well-being. Yes. So we say, look at replacing at least 10 times your income. Okay, so slow down there. So you have fifty thousand dollars in debt, and, yes. and and I want someone to write this down. You have fifty thousand dollars in debt, mm -hmm. and then you have an income of a hundred thousand okay. dollars. Let's say you know you ha you have a fairly good job, right? Uh, uh, you know, and you have a hundred thousand dollars in right. um in debt. Eh, now back when you karatasi, you came ready, no plane. Okay, all right. Is, so is that karatasi brand? Yeah. So apana hiyo I think ni kasuku. Yeah, I think ni kasuku 32 pages. Kasuku 32 pages. Yeah. Uh -huh. but, but, but yeah, but let's back uh so we have debt. Mm -hmm. Dime. Right. Acronym dime. I yes. like acronyms because they're easy to remember. Right. You know, for those of us you know like who don't remember stuff, you know like really quick, right. we like acronyms because they're easy to remember. Absolutely. So dime is uh debt. debt. We have $50,000 $50, in, in debt, right? I income. Your income. 100k in now income. Now you have $100,000 in income. Yes. Right? Mhm. Mm Let's say that's your, that's your your your, your pay, yes. your gross. Mm -hmm. So what do you bring home? Let's just assume you bring home seventy k. Okay. After taxes, yeah, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So you bring home seventy k. I mm -hmm. like to go with what you bring home because that's what actually okay impacts your family. So it's take home, right? So yeah. I say take home after child support after, and all yeah, that. All stuff. that yeah. you brought home seventy k. Yeah. Right. So your seventy k mm -hmm. multiply that by ten. Seven hundred k. So you have seven hundred k. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And then now you have a mortgage. Mm -hmm. Right again, we Wait. don't. So mortgage is not in debt. Ni kando. Debt, debt ni ni consumer kando. debt. Debt ni consumer debt. Okay. 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 All right. And then the next thing you have your, is your mortgage. Okay, mortgage. Ukifariki, you don't want your family to be put out of the house. Yes. Uh, okay. Take a note. Consumer debt, because some people may not know what consumer debt is, but sure. Yes. We, we shall. We shall uh, make a yeah, just asterisk, and then yeah. we'll come back. Right. Yeah. So your mortgage, treat that as an entity, on its own. Mm -hmm. Right. Because yes. what is a quote unquote American dream is home. Home. Own, a home. Yeah. own that home, right? So you want to treat that as a, its own entity. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that let's say that two hundred thousand dollar uh, mortgage balance mm -hmm. is completely wiped. You catered for it to be wiped out. Okay. Okay. All right. So two hundred k mortgage so balance. Two hundred k is yeah covered as well. Okay. And then the last thing, you have three kids, right? Mm -hmm. They are fifteen, ten, and seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is the most important thing we can offer uh, our kids as other than kichapo uh, education? Uh, in, you know, in kisomo. Yeah. Oh, how many masomo? Masomo. Masomo. Yeah. <laughs> kisomo is this, kama kuleta. This, this, this guy is yeah. doing yeah. ngeli of keiki. <laughs> <laughs> I have never right. heard of keiki. Yeah. Keiki. All right. Yeah. So education. Yeah. Right. The college education. Yeah. So we want to make sure that at least They're taken that, care of. that is taken care of. Should we not be there? Okay. To uh, prepare for that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> here we are. Today, on average, a four-year college education is about 100K. Yes. It's going to probably be a lot more as, as years go by. Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen. Let's not, the, the, what the politics around it is, but let's say it's 100K. Yeah. So for three kids, you're looking at what? 300,000. Okay. Right? All right. So it's simple mathematics. Okay. Right? Now, this makes sense to me because okay. my debt is covered. My wife is not going to be chased by the debtors for whatever. Yeah. Uh, my income is replaced. My wife and kids will never have to worry for about about a place, what to eat, what to wear, which whatever mm -hmm. is covered. My mortgage is going to be paid off, mm -hmm. and the kids' college education is, is is catered for as well. Okay, good. Let's slow down there, mm -hmm. you know, so that everybody is understanding. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, so for the listeners who are listening, remember the acronym DIME. You know, like that's D I M E. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, penny moja, mm -hmm. ten cents. <coughs> ten cents. Uh, so DIME. D is for consumer debt. Consumer debt is like uh, credit card debt uh, and uh, and car loans. Yes. You know, like if you bought your TV on uh, on debt or yes. something like that, all that. So on, on this particular example, we're using $50,000. Mm -hmm. uh, and then 
I is income, mshara. So 100K, but let's say take home 70K. Yes. So this individual is earning 70K. And then M is uh, for mortgage. This individual has a $200,000 balance on his mortgage. Right. Uh, and then E is education. Three kids, uh, and uh, he wants them taken care of in college in case, you know, like something happens to him. Right. Uh, and the average, um, the average cost for a four-year college education is $100,000 a Correct. year. Correct. Okay. All okay. right, good. So keep going. So here we are. Yeah. How much then does this individual need in total life insurance coverage? Is 300 plus 200 is 500. That's uh, 1.2 million. One Wait, where's the 300 coming from? 300,000 for the education. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Three kids. Okay. What? Right? kids so you expensive. have three kids. Yeah. Right? What kids if they go to community yeah, right? college? Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just asking. We're yeah. hoping that we will we will we will shoot higher than community college. Nothing wrong with community college, but it's I'd like to give them to Harvard. Yeah, yeah. I want to give them to Harvard. You, and you, you want to give them a choice. Give them, yeah, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Give them the choice to to to. So you're on the high end to yeah. do the best. Yeah, and, and and at this point, I want the listeners, you know, to write down your dime, even if you want to do right. it secretly. Yeah, exactly. You don't want us to know that you earn two hundred k a year. You know, dime. Debt, Concept income, of mortgage, and education. So yeah. consider that, you know, like put it down there in the comments. Absolutely. All right, back to you, Cliff. All right. So here we are. We are $300,000 needed for the kids' education to cover them, $200,000 to cover the mortgage balance, mm-hmm. 700000 to replace your income for at least 10 years, hopefully years more than 10 yes. if it's properly managed. Yes. And then $50,000 to pay off your, your debts, your capital okay. one, your... Your whatever, whatever, whatever. Those Best things. Buy. Best Buy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Value City. Mm-hmm. Uh, Why are you pointing yeah. at me at Panicha? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I was just stretching. <laughs> You're stretching. Yeah. Stretching. I was